in this class we learn how you can draw this jacket and these are the part name of this jacket drawing method is almost same as button down shirt first we have to draw this collar stand and then we draw this fall area but first we have to draw some guidelines so we can define this break point and this extension i already create a document and then place this template if you want to use this template you can download from the exercise folder or simple method is this you can take a screenshot and then place here first we have to create a horizontal line so we can define a break point and this break point is this this fold area and then we have to create a vertical line so we can define this extension area so i choose line tool and then create a line with the shift key now i create a vertical guideline and this time i choose pen tool and create a point in this area then i click little bit right side from this center line so i can define the extension i click here press shift key and then click here so a vertical line will be created then press escape key now we have to create a duplicate copy so first i switch to move tool then click outside and then select this again and by using reflect tool i click on the center line with the pressing alt key in the reflect flyout you have to choose vertical and then click on the copy button so a duplicate copy will be created now we have to select all these guidelines make sure fill color is no color in case if you want to apply no color you can click on this icon and then we have to change this outline color and i fill red color in this outline you can choose any bright color and then go to layer panel and lock this layer you can also rename this i rename this layer guideline and then create a new layer so we can draw this jacket in the new layer now i switch to property button again after draw these guideline now we start drawing color and the drawing method is same as button down shirt first you have to select this rectangle tool and then click and hold on the alt key and then click on the center line then click and drag create a rectangle like this it should be overlap little bit in case if you want to move this little bit downside you can use up or down arrow key and for scaling i zoom little bit and then scale down little bit now we have to apply curvature shape on these top and bottom segment so first we have to select these by using direct selection tool you can click here or you can also select with the click and drag method for applying shape on this segment you have to select reshape tool this tool available here click and drag upside and apply curvature like this same as you have to select this segment also so press control key and then click and drag create a window selection then click and hold and move upside when this dot appear so a shape will be created like this now we draw fall and lapel area so this time i choose pen tool and i want to start creating fall from this point so i click here and then i click second point on this corner third point on this guideline little bit upside and then click fourth point in this area to define how wide this fall should be and then click on the start point if you want to reshape this select direct selection tool and then select this point with the window selection and then click and drag so you can modify this shape in this way or in case if you want to apply smoothness on this corner you can use this corner pin and apply smoothness in this way now i switch to selection tool and then click outside to deselect now we have to reflect this so i select this and select reflect tool press alt key and then click on the center line and then click on the copy button so i create a reflect copy now i switch to selection tool again and then select this and then create a copy in the clipboard by pressing ctrl c now we have to unite these shapes so i create a window selection and then click on this button in the pathfinder so all these three shape unite in case these corner are not properly joined you can use pen tool and then delete these extra point by clicking now we have to move these point in this area so i choose direct selection tool and then create a window selection then click and drag and place here same as i select this and then place here now you can paste this color so you can use this tool in the edit menu 
paste in place now we have to change the order so i right click here and then choose arrange send to backward now we draw lapel area so i choose pen tool and then start creating from this point second point we have to create in this area third point on this guideline and close this now we have to apply a smoothness on this corner so i choose direct selection tool and then apply little bit roundness now we have to reflect this so i click outside and then select this by using selection tool by using reflect tool i create a reflect copy in case position of this ripple is little bit outside you can place this manually and the second thing is this we have to trim this notch so first i select this you can use eraser tool or you can also create two point in this area by using pen tool and then delete this point so first i create first point when this plus icon appear and same as i create another point and then delete this one or you can also use eraser tool also now i select all the shapes then click on the stroke and then apply roundness on these corners so this sharp point will not show now this point look better in the last video clip we draw this lapel design and in this video clip we draw jacket front and we draw this jacket front in two part in the first part we draw this right side and then we reflect in the left side so first i choose pen tool to start drawing and then start from this extension point so i click here then i click here under the color fall area third click should be little bit outside from the shoulder point because we create this jacket little bit wider than the template when we draw button down shirt we create a point here and then give a curvature but this time i create a linear line so i click under the arm then i zoom out or scroll and then click here and the next point we will create here then i press shift key and then click on this guideline so a linear line will be created and then click on the start point so this shape will close now we have to apply some smoothness on these corners so i choose convert anchor point tool then click and hold and then move so a smoothness will be created like this and i have to move this point little bit outside so i press right arrow key same as i also provide some smoothness here this time you can choose direct selection tool also and then create a window selection for selecting this point and then click and drag and apply roundness now i select this segment and this time i choose reshaper tool to provide curvature here so i click and hold and then drag in the downside so this type shape will be created now i switch to direct selection tool and apply roundness here so this type shape will be created now i draw this sleeve so first we have to select this segment so i create a window selection and then copy by pressing ctrl c and then paste in front keyboard shortcut is ctrl f by this method this segment is copy paste on the same position and then i choose pen tool and create a sleeve click here and then close this shape after doing this sleeve now we have to add one more detail that is princess cut so i choose pen tool and then create a path like this first create a basic path like this and then we apply roundness first we have to remove fill color so we can see the detail then switch to direct selection tool and click on this point and then apply roundness like this same as i click on this point and create a roundness now we cut this front in two parts so create a window selection like this so this path and jacket front got selected then click on these three line in the pathfinder and then click on the divide divide is applied now right click first select this then right click or this option also available here click on the ungroup now this part cut into two pieces press ctrl z now create a window selection like this so these two part and this sleeve got selected now we have to apply reflect 
I select reflect tool then right click then click on the center line with alt key and then click on the copy button so jacket front got created then create a window selection like this so all the jacket pieces got selected then we have to change the order so right click and choose arrange send to back keyboard shortcut also mentioned there now we have to modify this point little bit so i choose direct selection tool then click on this point and then place here with these easy step we draw jacket front and it's time to add more details like buttons pocket and stitching lines first i add button in this jacket so i choose elliptical tool and then create a button by pressing shift key and then move little bit upside you can use arrow keys for this type movement and then create two more buttons so press alt key and then click and drag if you are not able to select zoom it little bit and then click and drag by pressing shift and alt key create a duplicate copy and then press ctrl d to repeat this command and three buttons are created in case if you want to move these buttons little bit left side so use arrow keys same as i move little bit now i have to fill this area also so i choose pen tool you can create a rectangle also but i fill this area with the help of pen tool so create a shape like this and then change the layer order so press right click and then choose arrange and then send to back same as i have to place a shape here also so it look like a cert this time i choose rectangle tool and then create a rectangle from this corner to this corner and we have to create a curvature here also so first we have to select direct selection tool and then select this segment so i click here and for creating a curvature i choose reshape tool so a curvature shape is created then we have to change the order also so right click again and you can also use these keyboard shortcut now we have to move these points also so i click here and then move little bit upside front side of this jacket is completed now we create back side also but first i have to make some changes in the shape so i select direct selection tool and then select this vertex and move little bit outside by pressing arrow keys same as i select this point and then move outside now i have to move this corner little bit outside so i create a window selection like this then move outside one two three same as i select here also and move one two three three point now i create a window selection first i switch to move tool and create a window selection and then right click and create a group and then create a duplicate copy first i move this in the left side and then create a duplicate copy here if you want to go inside the group double click here and first select these buttons if you want to select multiple object on the screen press shift key and then click so you can select multiple object then right click and group now i move this outside we will use these buttons for sleeve then i have to remove this collar also so create a window selection like this so this collar and these two pieces also get selected then unite them so i click on this icon so all the shapes will collapse in the bottom side you have to remove this extra point so choose pen tool and then click here so this curve will remove like this or another thing that you can do you can select these shapes create a window selection like this then click on the divide button and then ungroup them so right click and choose ungroup i think we have to select this first then right click ungroup select these shapes and unite them same as select these and unite again and unite so this shape will be created like this now we have to add color line here so i choose line tool and then click and drag by pressing shift key so a straight line will be created like this now select this line by click and then move in the downside little bit and then select direct selection tool and then click here by choosing reshape tool i click 
here and then move little bit upside so a curvature will be created like this i select this point and move little bit downside same as i select this point also and move little bit downside so this type shape will be created same as I have to create a center stretching line also first I divide this shape into two pieces so click on the divide and then right click I think we have to select first and then ungroup first and create a center line here you can use pen tool or you can use line tool also create a center line like this if you want to place this in the center so press shift key and then select this shape click again here so this part convert into a key object and then align to center now select this line and this center piece and then divide then ungroup also so select this first and ungroup now i have to add a vent here so i choose line tool and then click and drag then create a line like this first i have to reduce the width so i choose 0.25 and then click on the stroke and apply dash line here decrease the dash line size so i choose 4 and then hit enter key i think we have to reduce the stroke also so i choose 2 okay now i have to add a stitching line here also so this time i choose pen tool and make sure this shape is deselected so click outside by using move tool and then select this pen tool make sure fill color is no color and then stroke width is around 2 or 1 point and then click little bit outside and then click here i think we have to change the stroke properties first so i click here uncheck this dash line checkbox I think we have to reduce stroke properties also I select one point value now select this sleeve and this line and apply divide then select this again and ungroup same as this vent I have to create a vent here also so first I select this and then choose line tool or this pen tool and create a vent here so properties will copy now we have to select these buttons and then ungroup first and then decrease the distance first now select three buttons and then align and distribute also so we have to click on this button now right click and then create a group and then place here you can see we have to change the layer order first so right click here and then choose arrange bring to front and then place here i think we have to reduce the button size little bit and then we have to rotate first now i delete this sleeve and then select this sleeve first create a group and then i reflect this by using reflect tool press alt key and then click here copy switch to move tool and then double click outside or you can click on this arrow to exit from the isolation mode back side of this jacket is created now i go to layer panel and then turn off visibility for this template and i select these guidelines also or you can turn off from here and then place these jacket like this 